So this one is another limit question where I should really at first check to make sure that I can that I need to use our limit limit kind of techniques that we've learned so far in calculus. So if I plug in negative one to this, I get I'm not even going to deal worry about the top. I get something over uh, negative one cubed uh, plus negative one squared, which that goes to zero. So I I get something over zero. Boom, I need to use limit techniques. So we'll get rid of that stuff. All right. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is try to factor the bottom um, and the top as well. So as I'm doing that, I get equal to limit as x approaches negative one fraction bar. Like well, see in the bottom, I'm going to do the bottom first. I get x squared times x plus 1. Now, um, I'm going to hope that I can factor an x plus 1 out of the top and cancel it. That's kind of the easiest way to deal with these. So I'm just going to initially start by writing x plus 1 and then um, put a set of parentheses and see if I can make that guy in a different form right here. So uh, what would I need to with the with the one here to get that negative three? Well I would need a uh, minus three and then I'll ask myself uh, what would I need um, to get this from this guy and I would need a 2x didn't give myself a lot of space so I know that that guy will give me this because I Chose that 3 correctly, and this guy gives me this, and I just got to see if it gives me this, this negative 1x. Well, um, minus 3x plus 2x, the outer inner, um, gives me minus 1x. So good. We can now go ahead and cancel these guys. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches negative 1 of 2x minus 3 over x squared. So all I have to do now is simply um, plug in my negative 1. I no longer have a problem like I did in the denominator here. So I get, uh, I get 2 times negative 1 which is negative 2 minus 3 over 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. So that gives me an answer of negative 5. Boom. Actually, super easy. Should be.